Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have five stories this week. The first one being super important, a big update on a drone ban that's going to require you to take action today. We have the DJI flip leaks. We have DroneUp getting their part 135 certification. Uh, Skybrass getting new interior mapping. And then lastly, the FBI getting involved with the drones over New Jersey. And in our first story, it appears that the House and the Senate leadership are attempting to bypass a vote on the NDA, the National Defense uh, Authorization Act, by assembling a bill together. Now, the final version of this bill will then be sent to both the chambers for a quick vote and then up to the president's desk after that. Some in the leadership are pushing for the Countering CCP Drones Act uh, to be added uh, to the new version of the bill. Now, if you remember, the Countering CCP Drones Act would add DJI to the FCC entity list, stating that telecommunication or video surveillance equipment produced by DJI should be included, which is really interesting if you think about it, telecommunication or video surveillance equipment. I don't think any of those really is the definition of a drone, but that's, uh, I think, besides the point here. Uh, time is actually limited here, so please, please, please reach out as you're watching this video here uh, to your representative and to the senators this week. This is not really a next week kind of thing. It needs to happen quickly. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this, we'll leave a link in the description to a full video from Vic, Vic Moss from the Drone Service Provider Alliance, where he goes into a lot more detail. Uh, it's a pretty long video, but a lot of really interesting information in there. So uh, I have a lot more that I want to say about this, but we will have to uh, keep it for the longer discussion on post-flight, which is in the premium community on Monday. And first up are leaks about a potential new DJI drone. I say potential because this is still pretty early with the uh, different leaks that we've seen. Uh, this may be called a flip. Now, this information was posted on X by a longtime leaker, Jasper Allen, uh, and it includes a few images that are supposed to be a new drone, which is said to be potentially a Mini 5 replacement, although I do not believe that is uh, correct. But We'll see. Uh, the flip appears to have LiDAR obstacle avoidance, a three-axis gimbal, and then ducted propellers that look uh, very different than what we've seen before, like a wireframe. It almost looks like a, a bike wheel with spokes that are sitting uh, on top and at the bottom of the drone. Uh, currently, there is a minimal amount of information on the camera specs and the flight time, which is what we expect. And uh, But we do have a rumored 2S battery, 3110 milliamp hour, so pretty, pretty small in this case. Uh, the image is pretty pixelated. Uh, there's been discussion about a potential January 2025 release, but again, I don't believe that. I think it's uh, far too late into the season uh, for that to happen, and we haven't really seen anything concrete other than these images right here. But we'll keep you updated for sure. Uh, next up, DroneUp announced this week that they have received a Part 135 certificate, which allows them to operate as an air carrier for on-demand operations. Uh, in addition to this approval, they also get permission to expand their BV loss operation to five miles from the from the delivery hub where they, you know, take off uh, with the uh, the package. According to DroneUp, the three to five mile increase is going to result in a 300% increase in the number of households that they are eligible to deliver to. Uh, currently, DroneUp is flying for Walmart in several locations around the Dallas area and Riverside Health System in Virginia. If you remember a couple of months ago, we had talked about uh, them closing locations in a few places uh, to focus primarily uh, in, the, uh, in the Texas uh, area deliveries. Uh, DroneUp said that at the moment, the current cost of delivery is $30. That's their cost, uh, which they are hoping to reduce by using uh, an automated delivery system. Uh, my guess is rather than having actual pilots would be a fully autonomous system. Uh, $30 is obviously a lot of money, not what the customers are paying right now. That's the cost that they're uh, incurring of uh, flying these drones. This cost could be the uh, explanation as to why we haven't really seen uh, drone delivery take off without making a, a bad joke uh, over the years just because uh, that's not something that customers obviously would be willing to pay for uh, to get a small item delivered. 
Next up, our friends at SkyBrows have updated their interior mapping algorithm. According to SkyBrows, the new interior mapping uh, algorithm accounts for the color science and the video output of the top 10,000 cameras in the world uh, in order to better process the imagery in post-processing. Uh, also, SkyBrows is on sale for 30% off until the end of the month. So if you are interested in upgrading, uh, make sure that uh, you use Christmas 30 for this deal uh, during the checkout. And no, we're not making any money from this. We just uh, appreciate the folks at SkyBrows and, and what they do uh, for the drone industry. Last up, the FBI is now investigating the large drones that are being seen over New Jersey. Uh, while we don't normally teach anything during news update, let me do a quick review here of the lights on a traditional aircraft. Uh, and let's take a look at this uh, trusty Cessna 172 model that we use. We have strobe lights that are on both of the wingtips. We also have a red beacon light that is on the top of the tail. And then we have the uh, navigation lights. Now those lights are uh, on the wingtip. And then also on the tail, we have a red light on the left wing, a green light on the right wing, and then a white light that's facing backwards. And then last up, we have the landing lights, which are typically white and uh, are facing in the direction of travel of the aircraft. Now. Now that you know all of this, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, supposed drones uh, in the footage that we uh, collected from the news media here. Uh, it looks to me a whole lot like an airliner that is flying uh, at a fairly high altitude, but not super, super high, uh, rather than a drone flying at low altitude. So uh, yeah, I don't really believe it, but with that being said, if you are uh, in the area and uh, you live in New Jersey, you've seen those drones, please leave a comment and let us know uh, what you think based on the information that uh, you, just saw, you just saw in this video. All right, and that's it. That's all we have for you this week. Uh, we'll see you later in the community for happy hour, and then we'll see you on Monday for our live Q&A.